Mm -hmm. The looks of it tonight is going to be the perfect time to stay up late, get outside and look up toward the sky. A celestial show is on tap and from the looks of it, the weather is going to be just right. All right, so skies have been clear for most of the day. Now we just have to get it to carry over into tonight. <laughs> yes, we're going to bring in Kim Adams to explain exactly what we need to know because uh, it's, it's going to be a light show, right? It is, and you and I were talking earlier about you saw the northern lights when you were in Port Austin this weekend, correct? Right, which I didn't expect, and I couldn't believe how purple and bright and amazing. Isn't it, was the it first crazy? Time I've ever seen. I right? was really excited. Yeah, it is. It is pretty cool. exciting because it's something that most people have a bucket list. You think you'd have to go, you know, yeah. to the to the polls to mm -hmm. see, but no, it's it's right here. Now these two things are not related, and it's really rare that they would happen at the same time but they have. So this there's cool. some really great shots online of the Perseid meteor showers with the northern lights. Now last night, the meteor showers peaked. However, that peak continues tonight. So if you missed it last night, there is a chance that you would get to see it tonight. So about 50 to 75 meteors per hour. You stay away from city lights. That's the best place to see it. Same thing with the northern lights. Now northern lights, not quite as good tonight, but there's still that chance that you could see both. And the reason is the Earth, this, this happens from July through September. Every year in the summer is when you have this Perseid meteor shower. Uh, this time it's the comet Swift Tuttle, which has not been since 1992. And basically the Earth kind of passes through the debris, which is ice and rock, uh, 37 miles per second. The moonlight is 53.5 and the moon sets at 1207. But the key factor is how clear it is. Now we've had partly cloudy skies throughout the day, but as we look at the forecast for the clouds, at 8.30, it will be partly cloudy. As we go through the overnight hours, though, there are plenty of times after midnight where we will have clear skies. So there is that chance that you could see it. Just go away from the city where it's really, really dark uh, and, you know, don't have huge expectations where you're going to see, you know, tons of things shooting through the sky. It's going to kind of look like a falling star here and there. You might also be able to see the northern lights as we do have a geomagnetic storm. It is, as I said, rare that the two would happen at the same time. This comes from Sherry from Holly. This is from last night. And as I'm looking at it closely, it's hard to tell, but there might be a meteor in there. It's just kind of hard to see. And that's kind of the story tonight. It will be very, very hard to see, but there's the possibility that you could capture both, especially with your iPhone. Now with the naked eye, it might be a little harder to see, um, but we got this other shot here. Uh, this is from Milan. So again, out away from the city, but it's rare that both would happen at the same time. And for geeks like me, really, really cool. So it was cool. I got a conversation with my kids because mm -hmm. they were like, what is this? And I really didn't explain it very well. I should have <laughs> called You're supposed you. to say, call Aunt Kim. <laughs> She'll explain it to but you. It was cool. Yeah. They were taking all these pictures and doing dances. And it was just so weird because you could see it one way, but it, it showed up better on your phone, which was weird. That's what always happens. Which so it, it, this is where a lot of people get confused because it might look like it's just kind of a kind of an eerie white hue in the mm -hmm. sky. Take a picture of that and then look at your phone. It was amazing because it see those blew greens. up. I'll show you in the commercial Have you break. seen it yet? I have not. Okay. So I'm looking to the sky just after midnight? Uh, tonight, just after midnight, okay. yeah. And again, it might just look like a big white illumination. You're not going to see these dancing pink and purple and green. Yeah. Um, but take a picture with your iPhone, and you might and then you'll see, see it. it. Okay, I've only had the pleasure of looking at other folks' pictures that they send in through my pics. So mm -hmm. if you see it, Make sure you send into my pics so uh, I can have the pleasure of watching that. That's a great idea. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thanks, Thanks Kim. Kim.